In this video from Shop Stuff, we're going to take a quick look at some of the big differences between the outgoing Bank of England uh, £20 note and the new Polymer one. Um, so the first difference between the two is the size. The new note is noticeably smaller than the outgoing note and it also is slightly lighter as well. This will obviously have, obviously have an implication for counting machines, so if you count your money by weight or for a friction note counter, there could be implications there. The second key difference is obviously the material it's made out of. So the new note is polymer uh, and follows on from the polymer five and the polymer 10 pound note. In 2021, the outgoing 50 pound note will also be replaced with a polymer version. So side by side in 2020, retailers will have to accept both the Polymer 20 and the cotton paper one. The Bank of England haven't announced yet a date that the, 20, the old 20 will go out of circulation. And when they do, they're going to give us at least six months notice. So it's probable that for the rest of 2020, both notes will be in circulation side by side. Um, the differences um, from there are mainly due with the security features of the banknote. So the old style cotton one um, has a hologram and some flex in it um, for UV, which are picked up on UV detectors. It also has some um, micro dots here that mean when you try and um, copy it on software, it comes up with an error and basically stops you doing it. You obviously got the watermark here as well and if you hold it up to the light there's different features shown as well the new one has a lot more um, security features the first is a large window here which has the queen's head and the phrase 20 pound bank of england twice um, you can see this window on both sides you can see it's a window so it goes through both sides of the note um, here is the um, lighthouse at margate and the um, gallery at Margate as well. On the front of the note they're, they're in uh, gold and blue respectively and on the reverse of the note they're in silver so that's an added security feature that the old 20 doesn't have. Um, there's also a, if you move the note around, I don't know if this is going to show in the video but there's a hologram here that flicks between 20 and pounds spelt out um, depending on the angle of the note so that's a difficult feature for the forgers to copy. There's a coronation crown here at the top, another 3D hologram style, um, which if you move it in the light, you can should be able to see the pound symbol 20 and Bank of England as well. And it changes colour, as does if you, it's a, quite a nice effect actually on the, the Margate Lighthouse. It looks like it's beaming out with the gallery in the background, so how you go about copying that off forging that uh, god only knows then a nice feature on the polymer notes is obviously british notes have always been um quite unique across the world in the they've always been uh, different sizes um, from each other which is to help the partially sighted and blind tell the difference between what sort of notes so i haven't got any old 10 pound notes but they were different size you can see here i've got a cotton 50 which is bigger than the 20 the 10 would have been smaller than that and then the 5 as well. Um, the polymers have retained that tradition although they are closer in size. So you've got the 20, the 10 slightly smaller and the 5 is even slightly smaller than that. So I imagine that's, that's nice and easy if you've got the three notes together but if you've only got one how would you tell um, the difference between one if you can't see them? Well what the Bank of England have done is they've got in the 20 there's a cluster of dots here which you can just about see, but you can feel them, which is obviously the key thing. And then on the 10, instead of there being a cluster of three, there's a cluster of two. And on the five, there's none. So that's how um, someone who was partially sighted or blind could have a chance of telling um, which note was which. Um, it's actually quite unusual in currencies across the world, as the, like the US dollar, as far as I'm aware, all the notes are the same size and they're actually the same color as well. Um, which seems a bit um, thoughtless, but anyway, and um, that's how we've done it here for some time. So what else is different on the, the new note to the old note? There's a window here, down here. This is actually um, taken from a painting by Turner, who features on the, on the, the back of the note. 
its uh, window at Tintern Abbey and within the window I don't know if it's going to show on the video it's probably going a bit blurry now but there's um, five lots of 20s two zeros um, written out feature so that's another security feature on there you've got 20 written out here two zero in um, three rows of three and five immediately beneath um, the Queen on there the Queen looks the same on the two notes so that's one thing that hasn't really changed um, you can see they've in kept the same type of writing around here 20 pounds looks similar the Bank of England imagery in the background and like from that point of view the note is actually quite similar they've kept um, the overall layout the same the colors styling is the same and a lot of the features in the sense that on both notes you'll have 20 in micro print both spelt out and numbered on the notes but one thing I have noticed that they've gone so much more to town on the new note with that um, if you've got a magnifying glass and you get a chance to have a look at one of the new notes the detail is amazing with the the amount of um, effort that's been put in to make um, to make it hard to copy so there's 20s all over the front and all over the back as well just before we turn it over um, there's also um, the yellow dots here which make it uh, very difficult for software to copy or computers to co scan and copy the notes to make fake ones um, I don't, I've got to be honest I don't know how they, that works but it does so on the back of the note um, we've got the artist Turner and his quote light is therefore colour so he replaces the economist Adam Smith um, you've got the serial number in the same place obviously we've got the window I mentioned before um, there's a purple um, emblem here which is T for Tate the gallery and the this spiral image in here is of the spiral staircase at that gallery um, serial number is also featured here Bank of England and there's the Royal Academy of Arts is repeated in micro print in the background to the printer here uh, for the picture here done by Turner of I forget the name of the painting now but it's from the um, the Battle of Trafalgar obviously um, an important part of British history um, and then within the 20 pound there there's also lots of micro 20s as well so um, there's, there's there's many differences obviously you and anyone is going to know the difference basically from the feel of the paper um, and also just the look of it as well so um, yeah so that, that's the new note I've got another video going through the actual security features of the node in more detail uh, which will be worth taking a look at um, we've got plenty of other videos on all the banknotes in the UK and also what you can do to stop your staff taking fake ones um, my personal view is that it's going to take quite a bit of time for anyone to produce a fake £20 note the, the Polymer 5 has been out since 2016, I think, and 2017 on the 10, and I've yet to see a good fake one. Um, so, so in the long run, it's going to be very hard for counterfeiters to replicate the um, Polymer 20. One issue could be in 2020, while both notes are accepted, um, and you've also got Scottish £20 notes, free issuing banks, which are also moving over to Polymer as well. The, 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 there's the potential for a lot of confusion. Um, so if, if you're a retailer, particularly in the north of England, um, on any one day, you might be taking five or six different versions of a £20 note. So that's something to bear in mind, um, something to make sure that your staff are aware of. Um, pens and this sort of thing will still help with the paper ones so you can have a the basic counterfeit note detector pen which we sell will work on testing um, the old-fashioned paper notes if you if you're suspicious about one of them someone's handed in an old 20 these pens will do the job um, we have a middle ground pen um, which is like it's still got the old-fashioned ink within it but it also has a UV light element which will work on the on the new note it'll work on the uv element of the old note as well so i mean for the card i don't know what they cost but there's going to be a forgery problem throughout 2020 so it may well be worth updating um, your processes and of course the old-fashioned uv lights will still work on the new notes they'll work on the cotton 50s which are going to be around for 2020 2021 at least um, and they'll obviously work on the old paper 20s as well so yeah got other videos appearing now which you're welcome to watch you can also visit shopstuff.co.uk if you like this video don't forget to like it and also if you feel like it smash that subscribe button
Thanks for watching.